What up YouTube, it's your boy Hoi Noi. This is Hoi Noi TV. I am here with my friend Scott, who I have just, we have agreed to add each other to our circles of trust. It's still a COVID-19 quarantine world out there. But I've done a very good job of isolating myself so far. So has my friend Scott here. Uh, he's, a, he's a highly decorated police officer with the Ontario uh, Navy. Navy. And uh, yeah, he's got a family cottage and we're gonna go check it out, look for some, obviously do a lot of fishing and normal cottage stuff, but hopefully look for a couple snakes or amphibians or whatever else we can find. Uh, so hang on to your gooseberries, it's, it's, it's gonna be sick. Ooh, buddy. Not bad. There's something a cop would say. No texting and driving, dickwad. No texting and driving, dickwad. Check it out, YouTube. Uh, I'm out here on Six Mile Lake, and I am by the rapids, and I just flipped over my first rock of the whole year, and what do I find? But the North American giant millipede. This is so cool because, you know, African giant millipedes are famous in the pet trade, but they're illegal in Canada. Uh, however, this is native and it's legal and it's huge. I only found out that we have these very recently and I'm so stoked to have found one. Holy cow. This is a lifer for me. This is the first one of these I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I wasn't filming because I'm still getting used to this. But inside this uh, rotting log, I found about a hundred more North American giant millipedes. Some of them are small, but some of them are legitimately giant. Very cool. Two, there's a ton of these things. Flip this log in situ, we have another giant. There's some ants around. Look at the size of that. That is, I can't believe these things are real. Young man, there's a place you can go, I said young man. Check it out YouTube, first herp of the year. This is, I believe, just a common North American water snake. He's got keeled scales, which feel really weird. They're kind of like spiky, and I guess that's for gripping onto fish, which are the main thing of the, oh, don't, don't do the spin, don't death roll on me. And he's got kind of forward facing eyes instead of on the side of the head like you'd see normally with a snake because he's an active hunter that goes and guns down fish. Yeah, I want to have a close look here. Wow, they feel so different Very from other snakes. Uh, this guy's getting a little stressed out so I'm gonna let him go real quick. But uh, I saw him on the beach and he ran, he escaped into the water but I went and followed him and he's not happy right now so I'm gonna let him go. Cool, first snake of the trip, first snake of the year. Oh, Scott's pissing him off. All right, there we go. So this is a borderline aquatic snake. Like you'd call it semi-aquatic, but they, they're called water snakes for a reason. They eat fish, they eat frogs, and they swim like crazy. This water is so cold, I do not fully understand how a cold-blooded animal can spend significant time in that water but they do I mean obviously they come up onto the Canadian Shield here to uh, soak up the heat but it's a crazy back and forth temperature wise good stuff check it out a uh, little bit different but these are all stumps left by a beaver the national animal of uh, Canada, which is where we are. Very cool, good stuff. Check it out, North American giant millipede. Look at all those legs. Uh, the only bigger ones are the African giant millipedes, which are illegal here in Canada to keep as pets, even though they're very popular in other parts of the world. But these are 
fucking awesome. I can't believe how many I found. It's like I, I would pull the bark off of old fallen logs, and there would just be hundreds and hundreds of them. So I grabbed a couple, and uh, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with them. All right, check it out. This is either a stick that looks like a siren or some kind of uh, amphibian, or it actually is one. You can see kind of a face on the top side there. You can see front legs and you can see gill structures on the back. It's kind of lying on its side though. It might even be like a rubber uh, fishing lure or it's just a stick. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a poke. If it's alive, if it, if it is what I think it is, then I have the best eye in the history of man. Okay, so I was right exactly about what it is, but it, is it rubber or is it just dead? I think it's, it's real. Hey, little buddy. Well, I hope we can find some of his uh, living relatives. There you have it. He doesn't seem to have been dead for too long. Uh, I'm gonna have some trouble figuring out the species here because of the decay and also it's not mature. I think you call them nymphs when they're when they're still fully aquatic and they still have their gills. I'll I'll do a little research and get back to you with uh, whatever I come up with. Okay, guys, quick time jump to me back in the city here. Uh, I did some Googling after I shot this footage. Turns out that was actually a mud puppy, uh, which is a fully aquatic salamander that keeps its gill structures forever, lives entirely underwater. Also the largest uh, salamander in Canada. So pretty cool. Not, not big by uh, certainly hellbender standards or things you can find in the States or God forbid giant salamanders of Asia. But for me, uh, it was a first and it was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I didn't find any living ones. Uh, I got excited knowing they were out there and being a, a species I'd never come in contact with before, but they're pretty elusive and I didn't see any. Still cool to find this dead guy. Check it out, check it out. Oh, This is the Eastern Redback Salamander. They get a little bigger than this, this is a small one, but it's my first live amphibian of the trip, so. Pretty cool, I'm gonna put him back. All right, we're here in the canoe at another beaver dam. Not, nothing too crazy, but uh, here's a big old dragonfly nymph that I caught. All right, friends, I'm down at the dock outside of my friend's cottage where I am staying. And this is a very common sight here, but I have Canada's largest spider, the dock spider also known as fishing spiders or diving spiders. We have a couple different species. This one is big, but they get bigger. They get three inches across. What's cool about this one is it is a male, and you can tell by those weird bulbs at the, it's like his most forward facing legs, the little rounded ones, those are called pedipalps, which they mostly use to like pull food into their mouth and stuff, but the fact that they have those bulbs means he's a male because that's where they keep their sperm. They keep packets of sperm in there. And to mate, they crawl over to the female and kind of slap it up under underside of them on their lady parts and then uh, and then the female eats them. So uh, this is a really cool spider. It's like the Canadian closest thing we have here to a tarantula. He's really freaking out. Okay, relax. And uh, I think he's super cool, but we gotta let him go because uh, he needs to be out here hunting little minnows. He is an expert swimmer and he can breathe underwater, so I'm gonna dump him into the lake, even though he'd probably prefer to just crawl into the dock here. Come on, come on. Oh. 
right, that's about as cool as it gets. All right, another fun bug. Uh, this is called a water stick insect, or colloquially a water scorpion. It is a air breathing but aquatic bug that uses those front pincers to grasp prey. It's a predator. And the cool thing is that it actually breathes out of this tube in its butt. So it's like a snorkel. So he can be down there looking for lunch while his butt's in the air and he can stay underwater indefinitely. Uh, he's not particularly huge, uh, but it is something I haven't seen before. So I, I netted it and I thought I'd show it to you guys and I'm gonna let him go now. So there you have it. That was my weekend trip to the Muskokas in South Ontario. And we found a bunch of cool stuff. Some stuff we didn't get footage on because I didn't always want to have my phone with me when it had a potential to get dunked in the lake. We caught some big pike. I had some really interesting experiences with a beaver who wanted me to get the hell out of uh, their area. It, it was huge. It was like a dog, maybe 60 to 70 pounds. It came barreling down the embankment, swam into the water, and started slapping its tail uh, to scare me off really loud. It echoed across the whole lake. So we caught a snake. We caught the dead mud puppy, which was interesting. Uh, a bunch of cool bugs, uh, the coolest of all being the American giant millipede, Narcius americanus. I still can't believe I found those. I didn't even know they existed a few months ago, and now I have a couple that I've collected, and we will watch those guys grow and uh, live. If you like this video, shoot me a thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to keep the momentum that I have going and keep this kind of content coming out. Whether it's herping and looking for animals out in the wild or just stuff that I have at home. If you like this video, shoot me a thumbs up. If you have any positive or negative feedback for me, shoot it in a comment down below. Uh, throw me a subscribe so I can continue to build my channel. It makes me feel good. And hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I'm going to try to keep the momentum that I have going and keep content coming to you. So be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'm... Alex, a.k.a. your boy, Hoi Noi, and this is Hoi Noi TV. Stay woke.